So it's Saturday, it's time for my weight loss vlog week four. I've completed four weeks now on my weight loss journey and I am so excited right now. So I went to the clinic this morning and I've officially lost 10 pounds. I'm so excited, I'm so proud of myself. I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna start crying, but I still have so much longer to go. Um, I still have so much more to lose. I have 20 more pounds to lose, but just knowing that I was able to complete this 10 pounds in four weeks shows me that I'm capable of doing this. You know, I didn't know how long I was going to be able to stick it out. I said that in my first video. I have no idea how long I'm going to be able to do this, but I pushed through every week and I don't want to look at it as like, you know, I still have 20 more pounds to go. I look at every week as, you know, what I can do that week, you know? Um, I almost actually look at it like every single day, you know, watching exactly what I'm eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, making sure I do my workout. Because um, I know there's going to be a day where I just don't want to do it at all, or I'm not feeling good, or I might have some cramps that day or something, and I'm kind of like saving that day off for then. Because I feel like if I give myself too much slack, then I'm going to slack off. So I've been pretty strict on myself. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so stoked. So it's been kind of an average about two to two and a half pounds a week. And it's definitely, I couldn't have done it without my medication. Um, well, I say that, and of course you can do this without medication. You don't have to have it. Um, but for me, it has helped so much. So I just wanted to share again what I'm taking. It's, um, it's the Bontrell, which is like Fendimetrazine. Um, and, um, I take... I take two of them at nine and two of them at two, and they really help me out a lot. Um, and then I also take um, these, which are um, chromium, and I take one chromium at nine and one chromium at two, which is kind of like a fat burner. And so um, they work really well to get increasing metabolism and burning fat. So it's helped me a lot, and definitely. Um, um, suppressing my appetite so I you know sometimes I might get just a little bit hungry but not like starving you know I'm definitely not starving myself so I don't want anybody to think I'm starving myself or make any comments about that I, I definitely am eating I'm eating breakfast lunch and dinner sometimes I'll have some cottage cheese in between if I'm really hungry um, I my new kind of best friend uh, this week has been eggs um, what I do is I boil them and I take the yolks out I've made egg curry which has been really great and I've had egg curry by itself, and then I'll have a salad on the side. I boil chicken, and I kind of like shred it up, and I put it on my salad. I've got feta cheese, a little bit of feta cheese, a little bit of tomatoes, a little bit of cucumbers. Um, I got some shredded carrots because uh, the nurse practitioner told me to start eating more carrots. Um, I always have an apple a day. I'm still having my oatmeal in the morning, but yeah, I mean, I kind of have the egg whites a lot. Um, and... Um, Increasing my chicken in intake. I haven't had absolutely any carbs um, This week or last week. I think maybe the week before that I might have had a sandwich with some avocado on it And um, I put it on one slice of bread and I was eating it like that instead of having two pieces of bread so um, It's just for me. It's like when I see that scale and I see things going forward I don't want to do anything to change it up. Um, I haven't had any tea. I haven't had any coffee I haven't had any diet soda. I've only had water um, so yeah, I mean, I even treated myself last week to like a fudgesicle, which was like 40 calories. So, you know, I'm definitely looking at calorie content and my salad dressing, which is like a creamy cilantro salad dressing works just fine. I've been losing weight and still having that on my salads. Um, it's reduced calorie, but it feels so, you know, creamy, kind of like ranch. So, um, it doesn't, you know, I don't feel like I'm being deprived of anything. Um, um, as far as workout videos, um, I've definitely been doing more of the Slim in 6 by Debbie Siebers. Um, I'll put a link to like one of her videos on YouTube just so you guys can research it more if you're interested in purchasing it or downloading it in some way. Um, uh, start it up, um, ramp it up, and burn it up. So I've been doing start it up now for two weeks. So, I mean, they want you to like do, I think they want you to do it for like one or two weeks and then move up, but I'm going to keep doing started up until I feel like I've really mastered that. I mean, I'm, I am sweating so much. Sweating is good, you guys. And the weird thing is, is like when you first, like I do like three Timothy Roth workouts and then I do the Slim and Six and then I drop to the ground and do push-ups and crunches and then I take some of my five pound free weights and I do different things with my free weights. So I don't know, all in all, it could be like a 45 minute workout every day, but I'm telling you, the, like when I first started working out, I did two Timothy Roth workouts and I was done. And I was still losing weight on that. But 
now I almost feel like it's like a warm up because when I'm like in that place where my heart rate is really up and I'm sweating and stuff, I want more. It's almost addicting. I'm telling you, it's it's amazing the stamina that you build up and the strength that you build up when you're working out. I don't want to stop. I want to see what my body's capable of achieving, you know? Um, and I haven't really watched The Biggest Loser that much, um, but I, I had it on the other night and um, one of the guys on there said something that was like so true and he was like, you've got to want this more than you want that cupcake. You've got to want this more than you want that spaghetti or pasta. You have to want to lose. You have to want that goal weight so bad more than anything, you know. And it was like I wanted to make sure I said that because that point was so good, um, especially for like your weaknesses. I, I'm still making like chicken nuggets and pizza rolls and you know chicken broccoli casserole and like pizza. I'm still making all these things for the kids and I'm smelling them and it's like. Whew, there's even like a commercial on TV for, oh my gosh, this guy's making like a BLT or something. And that bacon, wow, that bacon looks so good. <laughs> and my husband's like, you should give yourself a day, you know, that you can cheat. And I was like, uh-uh, not right now. You know, when I get to my goal weight, I probably will because that, oh gosh, that looks so good. BLTs are the bomb. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, th there's times when I feel like, you know, I'm craving something, but I just, you know, I just don't give in. It's not worth it. I want this so bad. And every week it's just exciting to see, you know, how I'm achieving and I'm doing better every week. So you guys just stay strong and stay focused. And it's all good if you, you know, only lose a pound that week, if you don't lose anything that week, if you gain a pound because you slipped a little bit, that doesn't matter. Don't look back. Don't think it's not going to happen because I did this for so long. I kept thinking it's not going to happen. It's not the right time. It's going to happen. It has, it's like all in here. It's all in here your brain and like I said when I was feeling like overheating and I was sweating and I was like okay you know I should really stop I should stop right now I was like no no you don't need to stop that's what was dripping down my face and I just kept wiping it off and I kept working out and it's awesome and for the rest of the day I feel so much better and I tried to make my hair look a little bit better than it did in the last video but it still looks <laughs> really gross and I just put some makeup on because I just did my workout video but I wanted to do my workout video before I did things with the kids and before I did this video otherwise it probably wouldn't get done it's a Saturday um, so and I've promised to do videos every Saturday so yeah you guys I was able to lose 10 pounds in four weeks some of you guys have lost less some of you guys have lost a lot more and that's awesome but for me I am very proud of myself and um, I'm gonna keep going and thank you so much for your support you guys I'm gonna insert a little um, video that I took of cottage cheese I thought that was kind of interesting so anyways you guys take care and have a great day bye so I just made a big batch of um, cottage cheese and chives I got chives this time instead of green onions and I uh, just put it in here because I've been eating that a lot. Um, the lady at the clinic said to make sure you have more protein in the morning. So um, I have a little cottage cheese whenever I need a snack. And I even take a couple bites in the morning too. Um, I just wanted to show you guys something when you're checking out your cottage cheese at the grocery store. Or if you, if you do want to get cottage cheese. Um, when I first got into cottage cheese just a couple weeks ago, I thought this was just really awesome. It was 2% um, fat. Honestly, the fat-free to me just doesn't taste good. I need just a tiny bit of fat. And it had 2.5 grams of fat, 7 carbs, 5 sugars, and 11 grams of protein, and 410 milligrams of sodium. So I was like, this is awesome. You know, this is a good amount of protein. And then when I was at Trader Joe's today, I saw this. Um, low fat, 2% as well. Let me get to the nutrition facts. Um, and this one has... Sorry, my hands are shaking. I just worked out. Um, this has two grams of fat. It only has four carbs. It only has four sugars. It only has 380 milligrams of sodium, but it has 14 grams of protein. So um, because I had both of them in the fridge, I just mix them together and I put them in here. But I definitely will buy this from now on. I think every everything counts. Um, so yeah, the Trader Joe's is the way to go for me as far as cottage cheese goes.